Disrupt yourself or be disrupted with Nikki Verd, a kick-ass author, international keynote speaker, digital knowledge amplifier, and a voice for those who yearn to reinvent themselves. And it has to be a supply and demand thing. Mm-hmm. You need to find, of course, follow your passion, but mm-hmm. ask yourself, uh, by acquiring these skills, can I utilize them right now? Mm-hmm. Are they in demand now? Right. It would be stupid to, to <laughs> take a cause uh, whose skills are not in demand because yeah. they're going to get rusty. Yeah. If you can't apply yeah. the skill or apply the knowledge, exactly. it's going to get rusty mm. and you're going to get frustrated. Mm. So I, ju- I just think it's beyond common sense to yeah. think, okay, yeah. yes, uh, this is my line of work. This is my purpose. Mm-hmm. This is my passion. But is it is it in demand out there? Mm-hmm. And second thing, is this someone who's willing to pay for it? Because if you can earn a living using doing what you love yeah. and using your skills, why not? So I always say to people that I mentor, yes, follow your passion. But if there's no demand for that passion mm-hmm. in society, right. you're going to get frustrated because you can't teach it back to yourself. Mm-hmm. You have to find a place that demands that skill. Right. In society, in business, in mm-hmm. communities, in mm-hmm. families, mm-hmm. whatever it may be. Right. Uh, if you acquire a skill that is going to uh, stay in a shelf, mm-hmm. uh, you're probably doing a disservice to yourself right. and to the community. Mm-hmm. So think about two things. I want to follow my passion, mm-hmm. but is this something that the society demands? Mm-hmm. And is there someone out there that's willing to pay mm-hmm. for it? And, and a combination of those things is going to make you very Yeah, happy. I think that speaks to the aspect of being curious, yeah. curiosity. Because without curiosity, someone may not even be able to ask those questions yeah. to begin with. Yeah, right? They will just go and do whatever they need to do. Yeah. But the ability to wonder and question things. And yeah. I mentioned before to someone that I think curiosity <laughs> should have been one of the top skills according yeah. to the world. World Economic Forum, yes. but they did mention, you know, like creativity, innovation, yes. and things like that. I'm like, why is curiosity missing from here? Yeah. It's such a big deal. Yeah. Even common sense should be on that yeah. list, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, because it's it's a lot of people use not a, not a lot of people use it. <laughs> no, they don't. Absolutely. And, and so, when it comes to curiosity, just that ability to wonder and ask questions. Okay, where is the world going? Yeah. Because this is the way I look at it. Um, that ability to ask. How is technology changing my industry? Yeah. Like, because there are times that I've given talks somewhere and someone will be like, but Nikki, this is so broad. Where do we start from? Mm. I'm like, start where you are. Yeah. Start asking questions. Start right it within where your you immediate are. sphere yes. of influence. And yes. maybe you're in healthcare. Yeah. Ask yourself, which technologies are yeah. disrupting the healthcare yeah. industry? And what new skills do I need yeah. to be able to stay relevant, yeah. you know, in my field? Or maybe you're in finance. Ask mm. yourself which technologies are driving change within the finance yes. industry. Yes. That is how you grow from there. But until yeah. you're able to sit down and ask yourself these questions, you'll probably never be able to take the next step. Yeah.